This is my hydrating, exfoliating, anti-aging, brightening, sebum controlling, protecting morning skincare routine. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Sherry Proof. So clearly I could not remember all those things because I have a ton of products in front of me. But this is kind of like a 10 step morning routine that I actually do very, very often, probably almost every day. I will sometimes swap in different products, but I have been using these and this combination of ingredients for the last couple of months and I just wanted to share it with you guys today. So of course, nobody really needs so many things in their skincare routine. I just want to remind you that if you are doing the basics, which is cleansing, putting on a moisturizer and putting on your SPF in the morning, you are doing the most. That is essentially what you need. But if you're like me and you like to be extra and your skincare routine is part of your self-care routine and you love that extra five minutes in the morning, you love ingredients, you love taking care of your skin, you love what it does for you. Um, and for me, I use those that extra five minutes in the morning to, you know, talk to myself, have deep conversations. Um, just, you know, put some stuff back into me and listen to what's really happening inside of me just for a few minutes. This is why I do all of this. <laughs> so, like I said, I mean, this could just be entertainment for you guys. Um, but yeah, let's get right into what I have to share with you today. So I'm not going to go into like details. There are a couple of products that I will point out because I probably haven't spoken about them before. But some of these you guys may already know about because I would have talked about them in reviews and shared them on my social media and so on. So the first thing, of course, is cleansing, right? So the one that I've been using in the morning a lot. I mean, you all know I have a lot of cleansers. I've been rotating through a lot of them. But it's this one, um, which I showed you guys recently. The second design, first cleanse, pure and moist. And the more I use this, the more I like it. It is a low pH cleanser, but it is very very gentle and still effective this has amino acids kind of like my dr althea cleanser that i love so much i'm wondering if it is because i'm just enjoying amino acids on my skin in cleanser form i don't know but the thing about it is this this is like what i love about this brand you see it's called second design because for them they say skincare first in terms of the formulation so they they put most of the effort in terms of the formulation of the product and then second design means in terms of the actual packaging and all of that so this doesn't have any scent. It's gentle. It's one of those cream to foam type of cleansers. And I am very, very picky. Like, I don't like that type of formula, but I love this one. It's gentle. It lathers. It feels velvety on the skin. And it really does the job for me in the morning. So that has been the cleanser step. After that, I will do a toner step. Now, a toner step is not probably necessary. Um for many people for me it is i grew up during the time when we used to be talking about cleanse stone moisturize and since then toner has just been stuck in me probably out of habit but nowadays toners are fabulous like full of so many ingredients and you will see because i'm actually not including this particular ingredient in other parts of my skincare routine well in this particular morning skincare routine that's why i'm using this and that's the mamonde centella trouble toner let me see if i could show you that you guys would have seen me use this before for example in my mass acne routine um and so on so i have a couple centella toners but i just reach for this one this one has like 98 percent i think centella and they've taken the extract from all parts of the centella from the flowers from the leaves basically it's like centella water so they created that's the whole base of this entire thing so you all know i already love centella asiatica because it's very soothing very calming on my skin helps me a lot in terms of controlling my acne and the inflammation because i usually get like those red bumps and so on it really really helps with that i have a lot of centella products this is just how i'm including centella in this particular morning routine so that's my toner step so the next item is the will will fall in kind of like the essence step of my routine and this is an, a product that i have not like posted a detailed review yet i will but i wanted to show you because i have been using this in the past maybe four or five months but really in the last three months since this year started i've really been using it a lot and this is my essence step in the morning this is the haru haru wonder black rice hyaluronic essence now haru haru is a brand that is being really talked about now and i have another product from them that i have absolutely in love with that i will share with you guys soon but this really really shocked me so the base of this particular line the wonder line is black rice and you all know that rice is a big thing in korean skincare a lot of the products use white rice and white rice is full of a lot of antioxidants and all that but did you know that the antioxidant power in black rice the particularly the flavonoid part is 30 times stronger in terms of its antioxidant power than white rice and they use black rice in this it's fermented black rice so that fermentation is actually going to increase the ability 
of those ingredients to penetrate the skin, but they also use something called UDT, a patented ultra deep technology, in terms of how they formulated this particular essence so that it could actually really get to deeper levels of the skin. A lot of skincare products that we use actually stay on the upper part of the skin, the upper levels, and you really want products that will be able to sink deeply within the skin and get to do what it has to do. So this is not only hydrating, but there's a lot of the power from that black rice that is going to help me also, just like vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, to help me fight UV damage during the day free radicals and all of that but this also contains ginseng extract and ginseng is another big ingredient so why i said that this is kind of like my anti-aging routine in the morning as well because this has ginseng and ginseng is a huge anti-aging ingredient of course this has hyaluronic acid and with this i actually just need like a pea size of this and it's enough like i love the harder labo um, emulsion but i keep telling people that this is like the upgrade from that especially if you are oily combination skin in fact it is actually being called like the anti-aging product for this kind of skin type especially if you want to get it in an essence i have been loving loving this like definitely check this out so the next step that i will actually do and again all of this is because i'm trying to pack a punch in this morning routine and what i do i will use this especially if i'm like in that third and fourth week of my cycle because that's when i'll be a little bit more prone to build up of sebum sometimes i will do it right through the month this is like kind of like play by ear you need to learn like the behavior of your skin be a little bit intuitive figure out what your skin needs that takes time it takes experience it takes a lot of experimentation with products and that is something that i definitely have so because i want to get some salus like and like i told you guys i've been using this particularly to help with the sebaceous filaments that's the build up of those white things especially around the nose i get it on the chin area as well and because i'll be prone to breakouts i'll actually either use the cos de baja s2 which is their two percent salicylic or i will use the cosrx the bha blackhead power one both of these have like um both salicylic acid and it has a gentle form of willow back extract especially this one this one is a little bit more lightweight than this one this one is a little bit more hydrating but i will use either one of them whichever one my hand literally touches and you can actually put this on a cotton pad swipe it in the areas if you especially if you get sebaceous filaments here um breakouts here that's what i do i just swipe it in the areas where i have those issues um, either on a cotton pad or you simply pump it onto your hand press it into the skin in those areas and it's going to help i realize that when i put this in my skincare routine that I have started to see a difference, especially if after like about four to six weeks, my sebaceous filament buildup has really, really reduced. So in case you find things looking a little bit different from this point on, it's because in the middle of filming, power just went. I lost all my lights and everything. I just have my ring light now and I'm literally sitting in the dark trying to film the rest of this video. So yeah, so forgive me, but we're going to get through it. So anybody realize that we didn't even reach vitamin C yet? We almost there. But if you looked at my recent video on things I'm doing different in my morning skincare routine, I mentioned that I started using a mist, specifically the Pyongyang Yul one. And I did explain why in that video. But yeah, that's where I bring that in and you could actually use this as your toner you could use this as spritz in between steps if you want extra hydration but i specifically love it here because i noticed that when i started doing it just before my niacinamide like my products would just seem like they were working better that could be all in my mind but i'm just telling you so i would literally just spray and even mist and as my face is damp i go in with my niacinamide serum the cos de baja niacinamide serum and stay tuned because cos de baja just released a new niacinamide serum which i will be reviewing soon for you guys now i noticed that cos de baja serum stem to be more hydrating because a lot of them have hyaluronic acid so really and truly i just need like one to two drops of this and because of that mist on my face i find it helps to spread this and helps it to penetrate even better into my skin so i just love the combination but you all know i don't need to go into why i'm using niacinamide here niacinamide is a necessity for my skincare routine and of course, this is where I bring in my vitamin C. Now, when I'm using allascorbic based vitamin C serums, I will basically make those my primary vitamin C because they tend to degrade faster than vitamin C derivatives. But since I started doing this step where I'm doing the niacinamide before my vitamin C and my morning skincare, I decided to give the Naturium uh, vitamin C serum that I had in my collection another try. I did talk about it several weeks ago and i was saying that i wasn't sure what my thoughts were because i found like when i was using this in my morning skincare routine i didn't like how my skin was looking i don't know if i was having some kind of weird reaction but since i started doing the nice in my step before vitamin c and i pulled this back it's working fabulously on my skin so i'm so glad because i'm going to get to finish this one i will not repurchase it when i'm done but this one is sodium ascorbyl phosphate which is a vitamin c derivative and they also have some encapsulated ascorbic acid in here 
and that kind of helps for people who might be sensitive to telescopic um it's a way to kind of get it easier because when the product or the ingredient is encapsulated it means that it's released over uh, more slowly over time so it will reduce the likelihood of irritation my skin is a custom telescopic so i really just wanted to try that product but yeah i'll finish it but it's working amazingly like this next step is going to be my moisturizer which is a all of my face moisturizer um, but before i do that i like to do my eye products and i showed you guys this so this is again no surprise this is a combination i've been using because i have been having like some dark circles inside here for two reasons one because of my sleep issues <sighs> it's going on way too long right now and also because i am getting older so i'm starting to lose volume in my under eyes yeah girl actually thinking about like you know fillers might be in my future somewhere i don't know if it gets really bad because sometimes that's the only way to correct that shadow in but yeah i have been using the brilli vitamin c eye serum roller so i will put that on first now this is hydrating but not hydrating enough for me because my under eyes are really really dry and i mean i could use it fine but i just like to double up on the hydration in that area but i love having the vitamin c in this product this actually helped me a little bit and i also love the roller ball because that also helps to depuff my under eyes a little bit and then of course i go in with my salmon virgin hydroactive eye cream from duft and duft and seriously guys i still love this line i highly recommend it especially if you want to add like anti-aging products or ingredients into your routine especially if you're using retinol and so on highly recommend this whole line um and then i go in with my moisturizer now i would have reviewed this recently and this is the one that i've been using in the daytime the tm pore minimizing cream and i gave a whole detailed review as to why i love this this is five percent niacinamide and does have some willow back extract which is a bha and also has zinc pca so if you're using this as your daytime moisturizer and you are not probably as acne prone as i am and so on you could actually skip the niacin my serum step you could actually skip the salicylic acid step that i did and use this because you're going to be getting a little bit of of that in the in this cream and the percentages that are in here are still big enough while it might be you know smaller than the products that i use it's still big enough to create an impact in fact to be effective based on scientific studies so if you want to be a little bit more minimalistic this might be like a real nice you know all-in-one type of moisturizer but the thing is it's so super lightweight that even though i did all those steps this layers so beautifully on top of it it is definitely one of the best daytime moisturizers i have ever come across for oily acne prone skin and i love a lot I need to do a video on that coming up soon and then of course if you thought that you were going to get through this video without me talking about spf you lie because none of this makes sense without spf no skincare no skincare routine no products to do any of the above would make sense without spf and i have a ton of spf like i have a whole spf collection like you want to see a video on that <laughs> i love spfs i buy a ton of them and i'm always trying them but this is the one i'm actually finishing now this is the innis free intensive anti-pollution sunscreen and this particular one is also spf 50 p a four pluses this one is a let me make sure i say this correct a nano yes a nano sunscreen in terms of the particles of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and let me explain what that is because there is some controversy whether you know when it comes to these particles whether they should be nano or non-nano so a lot of products will actually you know advertise or market themselves as non-nano because there was a little bit of fear mongering going on that if the particles are nano then they could sink into your bloodstream and create health effects but there have been studies that has been done there's no need to worry about that guys like you could go research it and so on so whether it's nano or non-nano really is of no consequence to me so this particular one is nano which means that they've made the particles of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, oxide smaller so that reduces the likelihood of getting a white cast with mineral sunscreens which is why a lot of people with min mineral sunscreens use the nanotechnology to kind of help that finish but this particular one what i like about it is that after you've put it on and after a couple of minutes it sets to a very natural matte finish one of the more matte sunscreens that i have i really like it i really really enjoy it i have no complaints really this one will start off by giving me a very very slight white cast but by the time it settles on so a few minutes later i don't see anything on my skin tone maybe if you are like much much deeper you may see a slight thing but i mean that is usually one of the costs that we have to pay when you're using mineral sunscreens especially in people of color so because titanium dioxide zinc oxide is white <laughs> yeah but i mean that's my preferred filter so i generally will tend to go for more mineral um sunscreens so yeah guys that was my very very extensive long 10 step morning skincare routine that covers a ton of bases but i absolutely love it it may not be for you 
but I love it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video soon. Take care. Bye.